in the 11th in the spring right ankle. Cooney, or uh, Looney over there, is working on a big shot by Green. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys. And from October to December 2017, Gerald Green was out of the NBA. He was shooting by himself in his driveway and would play one-on-one -on -one against his Rottweiler. Now he's been a key bench player for the Houston Rockets who have been hit with injuries in the past month. Gerald Green has been in the NBA for over 10 years now and he has one of the more interesting NBA stories in the last year and a half, so let's talk about it. Gerald Green is known around the NBA as one of the best dunkers and a guy that could shoot three-point shots, but something you might not have known is that Gerald has been playing basketball without the use of his right ring finger. When he was 11 years old, Gerald and his younger brother were having a jumping contest at their house and checking their vertical jump against a door. Gerald was wearing one of his mom's rings and the ring caught on a nail at the top of the doorway when he jumped and his right ring finger was almost completely ripped off. The doctors tried to save it during surgery, but they eventually had to amputate it. During the 18 month healing process, Green had to wear a large bandage and it took a while for him to get a feel for the basketball again. He says that when he shoots the ball, he uses his thumb, index finger, and middle finger. He says that if he was able to palm the ball with his right hand, he would have way more dunks in his career. So Gerald signed with the Rockets in late December, but he's been playing professional basketball for a while. He has played for 8 NBA teams since the Celtics drafted him out of high school with the 18th pick in the 2005 draft. Gerald also played two years in Russia, one year in China, and one with the Lakers D-League team. You know, for the first few years of his career, it looked like Gerald would just be known as a guy from the 2000s who was fun to watch in the dunk contest. But he turned his career around in 2011 with the Nets, and then two years later when he was traded to the Phoenix Suns. In Phoenix, he was averaging a career-high 16 points per game on 40% shooting from the three-point line. Eric Bledsoe was dealing with an injury that year, so Gerald had the opportunity to get a lot of run, and it ended up with him finishing fourth for the Most Improved Player Award. Gerald proved that he wasn't just a high-flying athletic player, he was able to do other good things on the court that made him a useful rotation piece. Green played for one year in Miami, then for the 2016-2017 season, he returned to Boston for a second time. Even though he shot 46 from the three-point line in the playoffs and was trusted by Brad Stevens to start in a bunch of those playoff games just a few months ago, Gerald was cut from the Bucks in October. The crazy thing is, Gerald actually made the Bucks after the last preseason game, but he was cut when the Bucks won a claim for DeAndre Liggins. They told Gerald they wanted to go in a different direction. Gerald still was not sure if he would ever make it back to the NBA. No team wanted him after the Bucks waived him in October, not even a team overseas or a team in the D-League. The Houston Rockets were hit with injuries and needed wing players, so they gave Gerald a call. Here's the wild story of what happened when Houston called Gerald. Gerald lives in Houston and was actually taking a flight to see his son in Boston after he was told that his six-year-old son was sick with an allergic reaction. Once the plane landed, he pulled out his phone and he got a phone call thinking it was going to be about his son, but it was from the Rockets. The Rockets just so happened to be in Boston that day because they played the Celtics the next night. They set up a workout for Green the next morning and they signed him after that. That same day, his son was considered okay by the doctors and he's expected to be fine. Gerald said in an interview that, I think I've never been so high and so low in the same day ever. He did not make any shots that night, but he's been going off the last four games. Gerald is averaging 17 points on 54% shooting and shooting a ridiculous 56% at the three-point line. He's been a huge help since Harden and Luka Mute went down with injuries. His deal was a 10-day contract until January 7th, but it was reported that the Rockets ended up guaranteeing his contract for the rest of the year after the game against the Warriors. He's going to make $1.4 million. He is already a fan favorite on his hometown team and has back-to-back -back games with 27 and 29 points. It's just wild that a month ago, he was completely forgotten about as an NBA player, and now he's a rotation piece on one of the best teams in the league. Gerald said in an interview that this is what he dreamed about and putting on a Houston jersey is a straight honor. This is a really great story because back in August during Hurricane Harvey, he was driving in his truck posting videos on his Instagram asking for anyone with a boat to come out and help rescue his neighbors. Anybody in Houston got a boat. I don't care what it is, man. Get at me. I'm trying to help out people in Houston, dog. 
Great story, but I gotta ask, what are these NBA GMs doing? This guy was playing one-on-one -on -one against his Rottweiler a few months ago. Now he's gonna be playing for a team that wants to make the finals. He should have been picked up immediately after he was weighed by the Bucks. A lot of teams could use a six foot seven wing player that can shoot threes. At least it worked out for him since he's playing for his hometown team. And he will probably be playing in May for a second year in a row. I really appreciate it if you're still here watching. I hope it was interesting to listen to. Gerald Green's basketball story is a pretty good one. We're very close to 100k subscribers. So if you have not subscribed yet and you're still here, definitely do that. And if you're on Twitter, follow me on there. I do tweet when the games are on. So I'll see you guys in my next video.